Welcome friends to another Flutterflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how we can populate a dropdown in Flutterflow using data from our super base tables. A huge thanks to Nasif3089 for suggesting this functionality. Originally, Nasif had problems trying to populate a dropdown in Flutterflow using data from a super base table. So in this video, we'll be seeing how we can solve that problem exactly, and also how to insert a new row into Superbase based on the option that the user has selected in the dropdown. All right, so let's get right into it right now. So over here, I have a basic Flutterflow project with a dropdown over here. And I'll also link this Flutterflow project to a Superbase project, which contains the tables of disciplines, data about all the different disciplines of a designer, a chef, Where's the lamb sauce? A doctor. Ligma. Ligma, what you ask? Ligma balls. And a no-code developer. <laughs> and it also contains another table of job profiles, which is where we will insert our new role once the user has selected their option in the drop-down. So back to our Flutterflow dashboard. The first step that we have to do is that we have to retrieve our data from our Superbase table somehow. So we have to retrieve all the discipline data over here. How we can do that is we can go to our dropdown and with the dropdown selected, we can go to back end query. So we can just add a query for the query type. It will be a Superbase query and the table it will be the disciplines table. And for the query type, it will be a list of rows. And since we want to query all of the disciplines right here, we'll just leave the filters empty. Then we can click on confirm. The next step would be to display all the options in the drop down. So with the drop down still selected, we'll scroll down and under define options, we will choose the disciplines row. And for this, we want to map list items and we'll click on item in list and under super base row fields over here, we'll choose the discipline column. So we can confirm. And now the options are loaded into the dropdown over here. Now the last thing that we have to do is that we have to open the action flow editor in the dropdown. And with the on selected event, we'll add an action. And this will be a super base insert row action. For the table, we want to insert the new row inside job profiles and let's set some fields. The first field will be the name field. And the second field will be the discipline field. And for this value, it will be the widget state and it will be the drop down option that the user has selected. Okay, so that's all that we have to do. It is that simple. And now we can try testing out our app. One eternity later. All right, so test one has just loaded and let's try clicking on the drop down, And you can see that all the options in our super base discipline column over here is reflected in our drop down over here. Now let's just try choosing one of the options. Let's say I want to be a no code developer. And now that is selected, let's go back to our super base dashboard. And under the job profiles table, a new row has been inserted with the discipline of no code developer. Let's just try selecting a different discipline, let's say a designer. And the discipline of designer has also been inserted as a new row over here as well. All right, so that wraps up today's video. Once again, a huge thanks to Nasif3089 for being the inspiration behind today's video. I hope that I've been able to solve your problem and I hope that you have enjoyed this video as well. Once more, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.